retinal cranium, right here, the white cell part. Chondral cranium, the clear translucent part. So this is the chondral cranium, just the chondral cranium without the spinal cranium. Okay. Okay. So this is the orange is sharp. This is the dorsal side. This is the ventral side. So if you are shocks alive, it will go like this. All right, because this is the jaws. Oh, okay. Okay. And then you have going from dorsal to most anterior to posterior. This is the rostrum, the nose of the shark. Directly attached to it, you'll find the nasal capsules right here. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. The orbit, what houses the eyes, right here. Directly behind the orbit, you have the hyomandibular, right here. And then behind that, you have the audit capsule. Which is for the ear, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so now the discuss of all the cavities. <coughs> so the first articulation in the shark would be the palatal quadrate right here and Meckel's cartilage right here. Now those two are the primary two teeth bearing structures. All right. So directly behind that, you have the hyomandibular, which is linked to the serrated hyal, right here. And there are another articulation. Yes, the high. So you imagine the palatal quadrant and the meckel's cartilage was the first one, directly lined up behind it would be. Um, your serrated hyal and your higher mandibular. So all of this used to be pharyngeal pouches and slits, right? In your amphioxus and your amelicides. But then in the evolution of um, jawed animals, they became the first, the first pharyngeal um, gill became the meckel's cartilage and the palatal quadrate. And then the second one, the higher mandibular and the serrated hyal. So that's the four you need to remember. Pedal quadrate, Meckel's cartilage, serrated hyal, and hyal mandibular, very good. And then everything behind it, you just need to dismiss as everything dorsal, this part here, epibranchial. Everything ventral here, serrated branchial.